Hello everyone, welcome back to the Chemical Engineering and Aspen channel. And as you know, these days we are covering the topic of chemical reaction engineering, and in this regard, we are bringing the lecture number 11 for our valuable viewers. So, in today's course coverage, we will start from the reversible reactions and we will do a derivation which I had said at the end of the lecture number 10, and then we will move to the rate constant. So, to illustrate how to write rate loss for reversible reactions, let's assume a reaction that two moles of benzene reacts to form one mole of hydrogen and one mole of diphenyl. It's a reversible reaction, so the forward reaction rate constant is K of B, while for the reverse side, it is K of minus B. 2C6H6, C12H10 plus H2, or we can simply write it as two moles of B, reacts to produce one mole of D and one mole of H2. The forward and reverse specific reaction rate constants are defined with respect to the limiting reactant, which is benzene in this case. So that is why it is written as K of B, which is for forward, and K of minus B, which is for the reverse. So now dividing this into two segments, one is for the forward and one is for the reverse. For the forward, benzene is being depleted by the forward reaction. Two moles of C6H6 produces C12H10 and H2. So accordingly, for this, the rate of disappearance of benzene is minus R of B forward is equal to K of B CB square. This is for the forward reaction. If we multiply both sides by minus 1, it will be RB forward is equal to minus K of B CB whole square. This is forward kinetics or forward rate for this reaction. Now, talking about the reverse rate. And the reverse rate says that one mole of diphenyl C12H10, one mole of hydrogen reacts to produce two moles of benzene. And the specific reaction rate constant is K of minus B, which means RB reverse can be written as K of minus B, C of D, this one is represented by D, and C of H2. Again, both rate constants K of B and K of minus B are defined with respect to the benzene. Positive B means forward, negative B means reverse. So now writing down the total net rate or RB is equal to RB net and that is equal to RB forward plus RB reverse. What is RB forward minus KB CB whole square? What is RB reverse? K of minus B CD CH2. So accordingly that is written as RB is equal to minus K of B C of B whole square plus K of minus B C of D C of H2. Now multiplying both sides by minus 1. Once we multiply it with minus 1, it will be minus Rb. Minus Rb means rate of disappearance of benzene. If it is plus Rb, it is rate of formation of benzene. Benzene is not forming in the system. Actually, benzene is removing from the, or benzene is the reactant in the system. So, accordingly, minus R of B, which is the rate of disappearance of the B, that is equal to K of B, Cb square, as you can see here, minus K of minus B, Cd, CH2. Or if we take K of B common from here, what it will be, K of B will be taken out of the bracket, CB whole square minus K of minus B over K of B, C of D, C of H2. Now this term, which is a new term for us, K of minus B over K of B is actually equal to 1 over K of C. And what is that K of C? It is an equilibrium constant. So this equation transformed to minus R of B is equal to K of B, which is the same, CB square, which is the same. CdCH2 which is the same however that box term which is K of minus B over K of B is converted to 1 over K of C or we can say that K of C which is the concentration equilibrium constant that is equal to K of B over K of minus B. Now if you remember our previous lecture in the elementary system once we had said that it's a reversible reaction here if you remember that we had said minus R of A is equal to K C of A C of B minus C of C C of D over K of C if it's an elementary reversible reaction. So that is now proved using that example, which you can see here that minus R of B is equal to K C B square because benzene, two moles of benzene are present in the system, produces one mole of diphenyl and one mole of hydrogen. So that is now proved here as well. Now for the exothermic systems, as you can see here, the equilibrium constant decreases with increasing temperature. However, for the endothermic systems, it increases. Now we need to find the value of rate of reaction for the D. So using the same phenomena, we derive that equation. Obviously, now you can derive that by hand using the same principles over here. That R of D is equal to K of D, CB whole square, 
minus C of D, C of H2 over K of C. What is simply changing? The inner term will remain the same. The K of B is replaced by K of D and R of minus R of B actually is replaced by R of D. Now we know the relative rate of reaction that R of A over minus A, R of B over minus B is equal to R of C over C and R of D over D provided that A and B are reactants and C and D are products in the system. So accordingly, if we relate, want to relate R of D and R of B, how it will be related at R of D over 1, if you see D is 1 and R of B over minus 2, as you can see here, R of D over 1 and R of B of minus 2. Now, what is the value of R of B? It is K of B whole bracket CB square minus C of D CH2 over KC. So that will be minus K of B CB square minus CD CH2 over K of C over minus 2. Or we can say it as KB over 2 CB square minus CD CH2 over K of C. R of D one form is this one. And one form of R of D is this. That here it is specific reaction rate constant and in bracket CB whole square minus CD CH2 over K of C and here it is KB over 2 and remaining inner term will remain the same. So if we divide both th these terms, this R of D will cancel out with this R of T. This inner term will cancel out with this inner term. So what it will be? K of D is equal to KB over 2. That we know that the specific reaction rate constant for the diphenyl is equal to specific reaction rate constant for the benzene divided by 2. Now what is this 2? This 2 is actually the stoichiometric coefficient of benzene in the kinetic equation. Now finally, we need to see whether we have got the equation right or not. How we can see it? Now if you remember that we have said once we defined the concentration equilibrium constant that it is equal to the concentration of species at equilibrium. The concentration of product species divided by the concentration of the reactant species. So it is C of D at equilibrium, C of H2 at equilibrium, C of B square at equilibrium. So we have to see whether this equation is formed or not. If you see here minus RB is equal to K of B C B whole square minus C D C H2 over K C at equilibrium minus RB is 0. So what it will become once it is equal to 0 that is equal to 0 K of B C B square C D C H2 over K C. But now you can see that E factor is introduced which shows that it is at equilibrium. And once you rearrange it you get K of C is equal to C D E which is at equilibrium concentration of hydrogen at equilibrium and concentration of benzene at equilibrium raised to power 2 and that is same as that of this one. So it means that we have derived the right equation and it is thermodynamically consistent at equilibrium. Now if you see here that for exothermic reactions as we have discussed before that with the increase in temperature the value of equilibrium constant decreases. While for endothermic with the increase in temperature, the value of concentration equilibrium constant increases. And finally, this rate expression is derived, which is from the equation C9 in Pentex C, that K of C at a temperature T is equal to K of C at temperature T1 exponential delta H Rx, which is the heat of reaction divided by R1 over T1 minus 1 over T. But we will discuss how that is derived in our next lecture once we derive the rate constant expression. And finally, Moving to our last slide for today, that rate constant or specific reaction rate constant, obviously it is called as a constant, but it is not a constant value. It is independent of pressure, it is independent of concentrations, but the only factor which affects this is the temperatures. That this value, that K, the specific reaction rate constant or the rate constant is a function of temperature. And the rate equation, also known as the Arrhenius equation, is presented as K of A, which is a function of temperature, is equal to A, E of minus E over RT. Now, what is that A? It's a pre-exponential factor or frequency factor. What is that capital E? It's an activation energy. What is R? It is the ideal gas constant. And what is T? It is the absolute temperature. And you can see here that with the increase in temperature, the value of specific reaction rate constant increases. So we will start from here in our upcoming lecture and we will see how this Arrhenius equation is converted into an Arrhenius plot and how we can find out the value of K in the system, which is the specific reaction rate constant, which is used in the rate equations. As you can see, minus R is equal to KCA or 
C B square minus C of B C H two over K of C. So I hope you have liked the lecture. If you have any queries, any comments, any suggestions, please provide in the comment box. That's it from this lecture. Thank you so much. Please do watch, like, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Also click on the bell icon to get all updates related to this channel. Till then, it's goodbye. Stay tuned for more exciting videos of this channel.